All right, so today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the EV3 data logging capability to do a bit of an experiment. And pretty much the question we're asking here is how fast does this fidget spinner spin? All right, so let's give it a go. So we're using the, uh, like I said, the education version of the software. I'm just gonna start a new project. And instead of running a program, we're not gonna download a program. Instead, we're going to add a new experiment. All right, so with this experiment, I'm just gonna close down the content editor. And we're currently in oscilloscope mode here. So that little brown line you see moving across here is a measurement we're getting. And what I've got hooked up here is I've got myself an EV3 with just a color sensor, and we're gonna be working in reflected light mode. So what happens is if I place my fidget spinner right about there, the color sensor is looking at the, the white table. And that you can see there is that constant uh, line on the graph. Then what will happen is as that fidget spinner spins around, the color sensor will see different parts of the fidget spinner. And depending on the part it sees, it will reflect back different amounts. So there we go, we get back to our white and that's where it hits and sees the black. You can see it drop down. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this, log the light, reflected light reading, and then we should be able to see how many times this thing spins past the, um, the color sensor. All right, so firstly, I'm gonna take it off oscilloscope mode and I'm gonna set up an experiment. I'm gonna run this experiment for 10 seconds. The rate, this uh, fidget spin is gonna be moving pretty quick, so I wanna be measuring that data very quickly. So I'm gonna put it up to the maximum, a thousand samples per second. Color sensor, reflected light intensity. So that's all looking very good. I'm gonna download this experiment to my EV3. And let's give it a run. All right, so firstly, I find my project, find my experiment, and here we go. It's so now data logging, give it a spin. As these lights keep flashing, we know we're still logging data there. There we go, that's finished up. Let's have a look at some of the data. So to upload the data, I'm just gonna press this upload button down here in the bottom right hand corner. From here, we're gonna find our project. Our project today is called Project. And you can see I've run a few experiments already. I'm gonna get the last data set here. So this one here, it says my data underscore three. And we're going to import that. And close that up. And we can now start to see our data. I see at the start here, this is before I actually started the fidget spinner running. And then in here, this is as the fidget spinner is running through. I'm just gonna zoom in on some of this data here. So if I have a look, I know my data starts just after two seconds. And then what I might do is zoom in to have a look at everything between two and two and a half seconds. So down here on my X axis, I want the start of my data to be at two seconds. And then if I go to the end of my X axis, the end of my x-axis, I'm gonna make this at say two and a half seconds. So if I click on that, I can start to see some data. So we've got some really interesting looking data here. I know that these white space, these uh, long sections up here, this is where the color sensor is pointing to the white. But one of the really interesting things I can see is just looking at this uh, little fidget spinner, you can see there are little silver lines where the bearing is. And so what I can see is I can see white of the table then it drops down to black of the plastic fidget spinner, up to the silver of the, uh, the bearing, down to the black of the internal part of the bearing, all the way up to white where it's pointing in between the hole, maybe a little bit of a shadow there, and then we hit the other side. So we go back down again for the black of the bearing, and then we've got the silver of the outside of the bearing, the black plastic of the fidget spinner, and then all the way back up to our white. So I can actually see as that, uh, those different colors are going past all those different readings. Now I can see that I've got three different lobes here, one, two, three, which means for one complete rotation, this uh, will go around three times. We'll see three different lobes. So on my software, what I wanna do is measure the time between three different um, lobes. I'm gonna open up my point analysis tool. So there's my point analysis. And I'm going to move that one to be right in the middle of that white section. So that's where the color sensor is pointing in between those lobes of the fidget spinner. 
and I can see that this has happened here at 2.16 seconds. So now that's 2.16 seconds. I'm going to open up another point analysis and I want to move this one now to the third spot. So there's the first, there's the second, there's the third. So in here is where that first one comes back around to the start. And I can see on this one here that this was 2.3 seconds. So the first time we saw it was 2.16 and the second time we saw it was 2.30. What that gives us, 2.3, minus 2.16 gives us 0 0.14. So it's 140 milliseconds that's taken for this uh, fidget spinner to go around one rotation. So I'm gonna open up a calculator now and just do a little bit of calculations. So I know that it's 140 milliseconds to do one rotation. So if I was thinking about this in one second, I'm gonna do one divided by 0 0.14. This means it's doing 7.14 rotations per second. If I want to know what that is happening in RPMs, I'm going to multiply that by 60. And there we go, 428 RPMs. Now that's happening at the very start of my uh, spin. Let's have a look now back down towards the end. So I'm just going to scale back out to one to one. And instead of having a look at this section right at the start, I'm going to have a look at this section more down towards the end. So I might have a look at it from where it's nine and a half seconds through to 10. So if I change this scale, I want the start to be 9.5 and through to 10. And let's have a look at our last three. So with our, I'm going to close down these point analyses from previously, and I'm going to put some new ones in. Point analysis. Let's move this one to this point here and we're going to put another point analysis in and this will go again the third time it comes around so there's a the start second lobe third lobe and then back to the start again this one here we're now looking at 9.66 to 9.94 and so what we've got is we've got 9.94 minus 9.66 is 280 milliseconds. So 280 milliseconds, we're going to do one divided by 0 0.28. So this is now 3.57 rotations per second. And I multiply this by 60, and that now gives me 214 revolutions per minute. So it's pretty much halved in that 10 seconds. So from this, we can actually test how good your fidget spinner is. How much does it slow down over 10 seconds? Hope you found this useful. Thank you very much.